All right, so how I got into this work. Um, geez, I started really getting active in things, I guess, in high school. Um, I started working with different rec centers and community centers, doing different projects. I was, you know, performing in plays. I hosted a radio show, a television show. Um, and, you know, it was really all in fun and spending time with friends and you know, getting to know people and um, just really engaging but not, not actually knowing what I was doing. <laughs> just having a good time with um, doing some positive things in the community. Um, and I mean, from there, going into the University of Minnesota, just getting really active in the Black Student Union, um, joining a fraternity, Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated, um, you know, participating in a number of different activities, the Poise Revolutionaries Interested in Saving Media, PRISM, and the School of Journalism. So, you know, I, I started getting busy doing a lot of stuff. And um, that led to understanding that I could create a career from doing this stuff. Um, I guess one question that we have for you is sort of, what are the ways of being involved in your community? Mm -hmm. um, and how would you define leadership in your community and how like, decisions are made? Oh, okay. So ways to be involved in the community. So there are in, there are infinite ways to be involved in any community. Um, you know, it's about identifying the assets that are there, recognizing the resources that you have, and um, doing what you can where you are with what you have. Um, so you know, it's it's about identifying what interests you, what you want to do, and taking advantage of the opportunities to engage that you see so I mean little things from posting stuff on Facebook to you know being in attendance at a rally it, it, it really just matters on what your level of engagement is where you're interested in being a part of things and, and how you want that to play out 